this video, we're gonna go to work with this new text effect. Get it? Go to work. All right, enough jokes. Let's get right into the video, guys. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna find where we want our text to begin. And we are going to go to the horizontal type tool. The font I'm gonna be using today is Arial Bold, and I'm going to left click once. Type in whatever text you want. I'm gonna be using go to work, like in the music video. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it and delete the extras that we have. Now I'm gonna move my clip towards the middle. Now we're gonna get into the juicy part. So I'm going to go towards this section, the character section. If we hover over it, it shows the names. I'm going to be working with vertical scale first, and I'm going to scale it up to fit the entire clip first. That even a little bit extra so it can be off the screen like in the music video. Now I'm going to go to the horizontally scale. This is what I'm talking about whenever I say horizontally scale. So basically just mess around with it until it looks like how it is in the tutorial. I'm sorry guys. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to move up two frames now. One, two. Control shift D. Now we're going to scale it in so we can see the text. Just move it towards the middle and scale it down so we can actually see the text this time. We're gonna move up two frames again. Two, control shift D. Now we're gonna move up three frames. One, two, three, control shift D. And on this third text, we're gonna be adding in warp. For the warp style, we're gonna change it to inflate, change the bending to zero and the vertical distortion to around minus 45. Now I'm gonna scale it so we can see it better. So I'm just gonna mess around with the scales and move it towards the middle. Now we're gonna move on to the fourth text. And for the fourth text, we're gonna be scaling it up again. So it goes out of the screen a little bit like in the beginning. Now we're gonna move up four frames. One, two, three, four. Control Shift D to cut. We're gonna go to the third text and we're gonna copy this effect warp. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. All right, now we're going to be messing around with the scale so it won't look like poop. And let's see how it looks. Move it towards the middle and boom. Make it a little bit bigger, actually. We're going to move up two more frames. One, two, cut and delete the warp tool off of the sixth text. And now for this one, we're just going to scale it a little bit more so it can fit the screen. This time we're going to just fit it all the way and boom, we are done with the text. And we're going to move up three frames. One, two, three cut delete boom all right now let's get into the actual text effect so we can spice this up we're gonna highlight all the text by holding shift click on one text and the last one right click pre-compose press ok and let's go to work so first we're gonna apply drop shadow move the opacity to 100 and move the distance to 8 and now we're gonna do some cutting so the first two texts we're gonna cut to where it ends right here it ends then two more texts right here it cuts and boom so we should have three sections in total for the first effect we're going to add in tint and we're going to move the tint above the drop shadow and change the map white to click on it and we're going to go to a green a bright green like in the music video and now we're going to add in glow you guys can use deep glow but for this tutorial i'm going to use in the normal glow that's built into after effects i'm going to put that in and i'm going to mess around with the glow radius like so i think that's good not too much don't over exaggerate it and i'm going to paste this to all the other ones as well now for this section i'm going to add in tint again and for the map white too i'm going to change it to blue like this click ok the amount of tint i'm going to go half way in the opacity like so and then i'm gonna go to the first section of the text copy this green tint paste it onto the last one so we have something that looks like this and for this final part i'm gonna be adding in one of my crt overlays from my crt overlays pack i'll link it down in the description so you guys can go pick that up if you guys want to get that crt look for free render out the clip follow these youtube videos that i have on the screen to get that crt look i'm gonna drag it in and i'm gonna scale it to 50 I'm going to go to toggle switches and modes and change the blending mode to hard light. And now we should be done with the effect. I'm going to cut the CRT overlay to where the clip starts and ends. Delete, delete, and done. Now we should have this effect. If you guys don't want it to be too sharp, you can highlight all of the text. Pre-compose it one more time and add in Gaussian blur. And move up the blurriness to around 10. So we have this. So it actually looks like a CRT text effect. Boom. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>